What's up guys, I bring you Vizona Square today, a mission perfect for minion masters because there are so many corpses in this area that you can run 2 or even 3 MMs in your group. The mission has a foreign and a local quarter and in this guy I start from the foreign but to be honest only the first 3 or 4 minutes are different. If you start in local you got to protect master Togo while the other group arrives and obviously if you start from a foreign you got to be fast and meet with the other group or Togo may die. This happened to me once, the henchman couldn't keep Togo alive and I recommend killing fools as quickly as possible for foreign groups, especially if you got to complete the mission with only 8 henchmen and heroes. The task is simple, kill everything and keep the two bold guys alive. I've tested several builds, uh, I think I did around 5 or 6 runs and this is the end result I got, 2 mesmers, 1 asteroid, 1 SOS healer hybrid, 1 bip and 2 order of the andas minion masters. Since we have a 16 man group here, skills which can also affect allies are extremely useful. You got to know that there is a difference between your party members and allies. All, all party members are allies but not all allies are party members. Um, <laughs> allies are like minions, pets, uh, the henchman group etc. There is a list on the wiki about skills which can help affect them too. And go and check out if you are having trouble with the mission. Anyway, if you look at my hero builds, you'll see some skills which can help both groups. So the hero group and the henchman group too. Uh, for example, all ST spirits, so displacement, shelter and union. Uh, then on my SOS read we have a recovery, recuperation, even the spirit of life on the beep necro. Uh, all in all, try to help the hench team too. This is a quite difficult mission and you must keep them alive too. Uh, to, to succeed at the end. Like I said, there are plenty of corpses even for multiple minion masters. Also give at least two or three resurrection skills to your heroes. Sometimes a hero or two can die, but this doesn't mean you can't finish the mission. Uh, this can happen when you face so many affected groups. So guys, let's do the mission now. This is my necros point of view from the foreign quarter. Uh, this would take like 24 minutes in real life, but I speed up the boring parts uh, as I used to do. There is a timer when you start the mission, uh, this is to give you a chance to find a real group. Uh, if you can't find any, then you get henches. Uh, consider checking their builds before you go, but to be honest, they are weaker than the heroes are, so won't matter as much. After the loading screen, we find ourselves with uh, Brother Menlo and the, and the Kantan guard. They talk a bit and the guard opens the gate. The first 3 or 4 minutes of the mission is the Ampha territory. Uh, they wanna steal our gods, but Menlo refuses to do so and they turn hostile. Focus on the alpha healers and the necros after. They might use up corpses and the more minions you have when you arrive to Togo, the easier it gets. You can even wait a few seconds so the MMs can make more minions. Uh, the reason I choose bone fiends uh, and not melee minions is the ST. I know there is a debate on, use, uh, on using these two skills at the same time, but I think they can be viable together. Plus, you see that their DPS is insane compared to other MMs and can spike groups after popping out of the ground. After some easy Ampha groups, finally we join Master Togo and the Henchies, and from this point on get ready for hundreds of afflicted creatures and to defend against free directions all the time. I prefer to kill the afflicted monks and allies first, these hurt the most and have plenty of AoE, Rage of Judgment and Mind Burn too. Once they are dead, focus on the ritualist because they, those have hard res and decent heal too. Rangers, mesmers, assassins and warriors aren't that bad and usually get stuck in the minion army, but allies and monks are, try to defeat them first. If you can survive the first few waves without problems, you can probably finish the mission. This is not a guarantee of course, but a good test for later. But if you are having troubles even at the first part, I'm not sure your group has enough firepower for the second and third stops. Uh, rule of thumb for the mission, try to be somewhat close to the henches, Togo and Menlo. I've tried flagging my heroes and defending positions like this, but sometimes my heroes were overwhelmed, so I decided to rather give them more freedom and flee away from foes when needed. And once all enemies are dead, move closer to the next gate, so Menlo uh, can reach the cutscene point. This may take some time because he likes to heal minions 24-7 and when you get the intro, skip it and get ready for another waves.
after these groups the dialogue is triggered and we can go to the second spawning point if you want fun athletes on the way always check togo and mendo twice if they are coming or not wait for them don't go too far away Finally we reach the second point and can prepare for another big fight if you have time because the defensive skills, displacement, recuperation etc. This will give you a small advantage till they last. Usually I stay in the center around Togo and Menlo. This way the central spawns I can spike immediately with minions and e-search mesmers and, and can find the left and right groups after. After a few minutes of grinding we can go on, there is another dialogue, another gate, another road to travel. When we reach the third stop, Prico Spirits and stay in the center again, if you go up the stairs there is a chance that Mello gets killed, you can use the stairs as choke points though and finish fools quickly with dagger spam and splinter weapon for example or, or any skills which deal some AOE damage. If you're lucky as me, you may get elite tomes too from the afflicted bosses, or think of bringing luck picks and opening chests, there are like 4 or 5 in this area. You may get a nice old school plagueborn weapon. After the boss group we can continue to the last spot. There is another dialogue with the canton guard, eventually he let us enter the area and fight the last group, which is a big one, uh, but for a 6 pan party it shouldn't cause problems. I'd say if you are at this part of the mission already and was able to pass the second and third stops, then you can yolo through this last group too. Again, micro the ST and use all the spirits you can in, the, in advance and focus on the allies and on the monks. I finished the mission in 23 minutes, uh, to get the bonus you need to be sub 35 minutes, so plenty of time, even if the NPCs slow us down a bit. So guys, this was Vizuna Square, probably one of the hardest missions of Kanta. Remember to use Minion Masters, Spirits, Summoning Stones, the Ebon Vanguard Assassins if you can, and anything that can help increase the party size and slow down the afflicted as much as possible. Interrupts and knockdowns are also very useful here and I hope this feed will help out some of you. Uh, thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.